Hi, my name is Matthew Raptus, and I'm here at Raptus Rare Books in Palm Beach, Florida. Today I would like to talk to you about how to preserve and care for your rare books. It's fairly obvious that these books are treasures that are meant to be preserved for your lifetime and beyond. A book like this one, The Nuremberg Chronicles, was published in 1493. Just think about the fact that this book was created just the year after the discovery of the New World. Well, perhaps you don't have books that are quite this old, but even still, it is very important to conserve them for future generations. These books cannot be easily replaced, and it is vitally important that you understand how to take care of your items and protect them properly. Taking care of books shouldn't be difficult. Think of the golden rule, and in some ways, just treat them the way a person would like to be treated. Most people don't like to be lonely, but they don't like to be crowded either. Rare books should be stored vertically on a shelf and snug but not too tight against other books of similar size or a bookend. They should never be tipped diagonally. If a book is too large for a shelf, it is also permissible to lie it down horizontally, but you should never stack more than three at a time. The spine of a book can become slanted or what we refer to as cocked and if it's not stored correctly. So just make sure your books sit comfortably on a nice shelf. Most people don't like to be too hot or in the sun for too long. It is the same with books. Rare books should be protected from direct sunlight and high temperatures. Exposure to direct sunlight will cause the spine to fade over time. Also, high temperatures can cause the paper and bindings to become brittle. If you notice insects around your collection of books, find the source right away. You wouldn't let an insect keep pestering you. So if you see any pests, don't delay and take care of them right away. Custom leather clamshell boxes can be helped to protect any book. This name comes from the fact that they open like this, like a clamshell. These come in a wide variety of colors, as you can see here, and are made to look like a book so that they fit seamlessly into your library. Boxes can also protect the book from dust and insect damage. People don't like to be rubbed the wrong way, and neither do books. When you handle your book, be careful not to rub the edges. Hold it in the middle of the spine and pull straight from the shelf, like this. Take care when opening the book to not open it too far which can crack the hinges, particularly if it is an older edition. Just treat it with respect. Most people like a good massage. Every once in a while, give your books a little special treatment. If your leather books appear to be drying out or degrading from high temperatures or humidity, this may be red rot. You can treat your books with a leather consolidant and conditioner, and we have provided links to the, some available products on the market and in the notes below and on our website. People also like to be dressed well. A book with a dust jacket like this one should always be, to be protected by a clear mylar cover like this, Casino Royale First Edition. This helps protect from oils in your hands, chipping or rubbing of the edges and may protect it from spills or accidents as well. The dust jacket is often the most valuable part of a modern first edition book, so it is important that these should always be of archival quality. All of our books at Raptus Rare Books leave our store in fresh new Mylar. And if you'd like help purchasing Mylar for your books, we have included some links in the notes section of this video. Mylar covers should never be adhered to the jacket directly with tape. Lastly, if you're sick, go see a doctor. In the same way, if a book accidentally tears or breaks, please don't attempt to repair it yourself, but seek the advice of a rare book expert. Using non-archival tape can actually degrade the paper of the dust jacket. I hope this short video has given you a good start on protecting your collection of rare books. If you would like advice or specific recommendations regarding the care of your books, you can visit our website raptusrarebooks.com to find links for archival products and other care information.